What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic out there today. Guys, I have been honestly dying to make this video for a very, very long time. One of my favorite videos to make here on my channel is update concept videos. It really gets the creative juices flowing for upcoming updates as well as puts a spotlight on very talented creators inside of the community that might not be getting as much spotlight as they should be. But some of my favorite ideas coming from those videos are second gadget ideas as well well as gadget reworks here in the existing Brawl Stars. So I'm very excited to hop into stellar second gadget ideas thought of by amazing people inside the Brawl Stars community. I swear you're going to really, really enjoy them. So hope you're all pumped up. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go. So of course, everyone, if you enjoy what you see here in today's video or just any of my videos here on my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, turn that red button into a gray one. I would greatly appreciate it. But with all of that out of the way, I don't want to waste any more time here in today's video because we have a ton of very interesting ideas for second gadgets to get into. Starting off with this one by the user Poog <laughs> four days ago. They came up with two different variations of a second gadget for Squeak. This one, my least favorite of the two, Two, but we'll still go over both of them. So this one is called Dog Collar. Squeak throws a dog collar at the nearest enemy. If it hits them, they can't walk further than seven tiles from the point from where they've been hit. I feel like this gadget is just a tiny bit too restrictive. If it had like a time period that the dog collar would last, then I would say it would be pretty dang okay. The health might be a little bit hard to deal with, right? But the second gadget idea here for Squeak is called Goo Split. Upon activation, all current sticky bombs on the map split into four smaller sticky bombs with plus shapes. Each blob deals 350 damage, charges per match, three. I love the idea of this gadget so, so much. If you're in a pinch, you throw down a basic attack, you can use a gadget, then you get four smaller squeak bombs that explode from that basic attack. Or you can get really, really wild, wait till you get a super, throw down your super, hit the gadget, and then four more bombs explode from each of those sticky bombs on the map, just getting absolute chaos going on during the match. There's something about this that preaches really, really overpowered, but I would love to see it. Guys, your boy likes seeing cool things here in Brawl Stars, and just imagine how crazy that would be if you got a super with this gadget activated. Super, super cool. So next up, we have a gadget here that I believe we showcased in a previous video here on my channel. Some of the gadgets that we're going to be going over are duplicates from previous videos, but I want to reiterate them because they are phenomenal, phenomenal ideas. This one from Art from Cookie Land. 155 days ago, a second gadget for Jackie. As you can see, it got a ton of love by the community, 8.8K upvotes, and I think it is for a good reason. It's a really stellar idea. Jackie the Builder. Jackie restores all destroyed walls around her. Charges per match, three. It fits her character so dang well since she is like a construction worker, right? And I think it would have a ton of utility for certain maps and certain team comps. Some brawlers definitely benefit from having walls on the map, such as lobbers or longer range brawlers head peeking around them. I think this would be a really fun gadget for strategic value, right? But moving along here, this one was also already featured on my channel, but I love the concept so dang much. As you can see the user, I'm a cheese. Very simple gadget, but I think would be incredibly effective for a brawler like BB called Swing It. BB swings 360 degrees with her bat, knocking back and stunning all enemies around her. I just really love the high paced feel that this gadget would provide to BB. If you really think about it, her gadgets are more of a passive gadget. You can't have a gadget that's going to disrupt the flow of her movement speed and how she's moving around on the map. So I love the simplicity of this gadget and I think it would make her feel really, really aggressive here in the game. Simple, in my opinion, sometimes is much, much more effective and better overall. I love this gadget. I would love it for BB. So moving along to a second gadget idea here for Leon, thought up by the user Joker of All Trades. And I feel like this concept has been floating around a lot as of recently here in my concept videos and just in the community in general. And that is something like this, which is called Disguised Kit. Leon disguises himself as the last brawler he killed for seven seconds. He will return to normal if he attacks and the enemy brawlers can recognize him if he's within four tiles of them. If Leon hasn't killed any brawlers so far in the round, the disguise will be random. I've said this time and time again in our concept videos here on my channel. I am really hoping that Leon 
one second gadget is incredibly fun to fit his play style right. His first gadget is already incredibly unique and super, super fun. So I think the second gadget deserves that funness with it as well. And a higher skill cap, right? And I think this would provide it very, very nicely. Imagine you end up killing a brawler on the map. The other opponents on the enemy team aren't really paying attention to what's going on in that lane. You turn into that brawler, them thinking that you are on their team, and then you use that to your benefit trying to trick out the enemy teammates. A lot of head game stuff. I really love the idea. Getting into a few concepts here by the user PI Magics that I really, really found enjoyable. I don't know if some of these are going to be viable, but again, I just really love the uniqueness of the idea. So for the first one, we have Pop Quiz, a second gadget idea for Colette. All visible enemies take 100 damage and Colette supercharges by 20% for every affected enemy. I really like the idea of having like a charging super for Colette or something that will help her sustain while she's in lane. One of the funnest things to do with Colette is super stacking. So if you hit two people with one of your Colette supers, you get another super back. You can cycle those supers and just be an aggro threat on the map. But a lot of the time you end up dying during those situations. So getting it more often or being able to sustain your HP during those situations, I think would make Colette so much more fun to play. Getting into another one here, another one for Leon called Prop Hunt. Leon takes the form of the nearest object, adding temporary health for 10 seconds. So kind of the same exact thing that was happening before, but I think this one also takes into account actual obstacles on the map. So taking the form of a wall, wouldn't that be freaking awesome? You disguise yourself as a wall, just kind of <laughs> nosy up to a wall that makes sense for you to kind of blend in and then catch your opponents off guard. I love that idea. <laughs> it might be a little bit too hard to use, but it's really cool. And then this one I thought was also really, really cool. Second gadget idea for Surge, and I would love to see something like this for Surge, just maybe not the exact same thing. But as you can see, illegal upgrade for 5.5 seconds, Surge turns into level five. So you're in a pinch, utilize a gadget for that 5.5 seconds, you are a massive Surge, a powerful Surge. Isn't that a really, really cool idea? I would love to see Surge's second gadget having some sort of influence over his leveling mechanic here in the game. Maybe you use a gadget and for some certain duration, it's easier for you to charge up to your next tier or getting your super more often, things like that. I don't know. I think it'd be really, really cool. I think Surge has a lot of potential with his second gadget. That's for dang sure. But make sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about that one. Guys, moving along to another really, really awesome idea here for Leon. I'm telling you guys, Leon's second gadget has so much freaking potential to be so much fun. But as you can see, this one by the user Mean Toaster almost 100 days ago called Fake Death. If you take damage after activating this gadget, you will fake your death and gain three seconds of invisibility. So just imagine being able to fake your death. It might not catch a lot of people off guard or anything like that, especially once they get used to what this gadget actually does in the game. But again, it'll give you a few seconds of kind of disrupting the flow or kind of making them panic a little bit. And then on top of that, you get a little bit of invisibility. I think this is a really cool gadget. Okay, so getting into another gadget idea here by Ya Eblon, and I thought it was just really, really unique and a funny idea for a dynamite gadget, even though he already has two. So this one is called Desperate Act. Dynamite explodes his TNT barrel on his back with losing 50% of his health, dealing 2,500 damage to enemies around him. So like a last ditch effort, Dynamite's in a pinch, might as well detonate that huge bomb you got on your back, right? <laughs> Deal with that crazy damage. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. It definitely would be good up against brothers that take advantage of Dynamite a lot in the game, like a surge with his gadgets, a mortis dashing in on him, anyone with a lot of mobility getting inside dynamite it's one of his weakest points with his character so if they know that you're utilizing this gadget on the back burner <laughs> and they have to deal with the 2500 damage if they get too close i think it would be actually pretty dang good for dynamite that's for sure all right so another post here by pi magics i like a couple of them in this post of three so this one here is for bb it's called sweet victory bb's ball of bubblegum pops stunning enemies and dealing 500 damage so you have a little bit more usage from your bubble you can kind to catch people off guard in that respect and getting a stun off with something like that i think would be really really good for a brawler like
like BB. And the final one that I kind of thought was pretty dang unique and a cool concept here is the last one of this post. It's for Pam, extra parts. Pam gets one extra ammo. This can stack up to three, but she loses all when she is defeated. So imagine you are a Pam, you're a tanky Pam. You got a very good sustain team comp going on there in the game and you managed to rack up to six ammo bars. How freaking crazy would that be? And you could also be like more conservative and you want to save those gadgets and just play as like a four ammo Pam for basically the majority of the match, right? Just activating it upon once you spawn back in every single time. I think it'd be a pretty unique idea for Pam being more of an aggro gadget compared to her other one, right? Guys, I don't know what it is about the simpler gadgets, but I adore most of them. As you can see, we have another one here by Poog, <laughs> a gadget for Colonel Ruffs. Ruff in Ruffs. Ruffs and all nearby allies reload faster by 20% for three seconds. So I kind of like the concept of not just giving them the super, but just makes it easier for you to get super. So you still need to land your shots, but you just get more super recharged from those shots. I think it's a really, really cool gadget seeing that Colonel Ruffs is technically a supportive character in the game. Being able to give your teammates a better opportunity to reload, I think would be phenomenal. And just picture it, Colonel Ruffs would then have a healing mechanic a damage buff mechanic as well as a reloading mechanic he would be like a trifecta of support I love that getting into another one here that I think would actually be incredibly broken but would make Edgar really really fun to play if you do enjoy playing with Edgar this one by Poco Main so this gadget is called rock and pull Edgar uses his scarf to pull himself to the closest enemy in medium range so this would be the radius of the gadget yes I think it'd be incredibly broken but would make him so dang scrappy and fun to play being able to drag yourself to someone who's nearby and then dish off that damage and then maybe like super out of there i think it'd be really really fun but yet pretty dang broken <laughs> it's funny that a poco main would make this because this would make a poco's life absolutely heck <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> so getting into another idea here for surge by raju pro gamer made almost 300 days ago it's called cheap charge surge goes for a cheap instant charge that instantly levels him up to stage three however the charge is low quality and leaves surge with only 50 percent of his original max hp this resets when surge dies so you have a fast track to a really good stage that surge has with his levels but then you are kind of at a detriment you have to play a little bit more passive and not take as much damage because you only have 50 percent of your original hp kind of like the idea fits into that whole narrative that i would love to see for a surge second gadget where it's kind of influencing the level mechanic that he has i think it's a cool idea getting into another one here that I absolutely adore and I know for certain we featured this in a previous video here on my channel. This concept was made by Ash, Ash YouTube here in the Brawl Stars YouTubing community. A great idea called Helping Hand. Gene will immediately pull himself next to his nearest teammate. Very simple, but it would be really effective with the star power that you're utilizing if someone needs healing, dash to them, maybe help tank some damage coming in as well as healing them up at the same exact time, or to get you in a better position, much like this image is depicting. You pull yourself to a Shelly that's a little bit closer to the enemy, thus giving you a better chance to land your super on that opponent. I think it's a cool idea, man. I think far better than the second gadget that Gene already has here in the game. I don't think anyone really uses <laughs> the second gadget <laughs> for Gene right now. <laughs> and then getting into our final second gadget idea here for Colette, made by unidentified user 10. Again, it brings us back to the whole concept of having somewhat of a sustain gadget for Colette, where her other gadget is more DPS oriented. This one would help her stay in the fight for adding a little bit more HP and a shield mechanic. So as you can see, it is called Health Assured. Upon activation, Colette obtains a 15% shield. Her next attack will heal herself 30% of the opponent's health. Minimum health would be 900, maximum HP would be 2,010. So still kind of goes along her weird mechanics that she has with her DPS, where it's all health oriented on the enemy team. This one would be influenced by health coming back to her. I feel like Colette is on the verge of being like such a fun brawler for me, at least. I find myself playing with her just in 
enjoying the crap out of her, but she just dies way too easily. If there was some way where you could just stay in the fight a little bit longer, get some sustain, then go in with a super, maybe activate a gadget right after that, get a little bit of health back, stay in that fight, I think it would make her so, so much more fun to play and really, really good in the meta. But yeah, everyone, that's just about it for the ideas that I have for you in today's video. When it comes to second gadget ideas, I feel like they are some of the most creative posts that I see here inside the Brawl Stars community. How will this specific gadget help out this brawler with their strange mechanics compared to all the other brawlers in the game, making it balanced and whatnot? I feel like it takes a lot of thought process when it comes to these, and I think it really shows the uniqueness and the fun that come from them. I really, really enjoy quite a lot, which is why I always try to add a few of these whenever we do just an overall update idea video, right? Because they're so dang fun. But yeah, everyone, of course, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today. If you did, be sure to slap a like on it. I'd really, really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Adios, everybody. Have a great one.